Hello YouTube and welcome to another MongoDB tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to deploy a MongoDB replica set or cluster using Docker. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually a MongoDB replica set will ensure that your data is backed okay, and available in case of hardware or software failure. So normally you create this uh, replica set using three or more nodes. So the minimum is three and the maximum is 50, okay? And this cluster consists of one that is called a primary node. So all the reads and writes are performed by this primary nodes and secondary nodes actually acts just like a backup or standby, okay? So here we'll be using uh, Docker in order to create three instances, okay? So first thing first, we have to create a separate uh, Docker network. So I will use the command sudo docker network create in order to create a network. So you can call it whatever you want here. I will call it mongo.net but you can specify any name you want. Okay, here we go. So let's verify that using the command docker list. You can see that we have the tree uh, default one and here you can see the Mongo net that has been created. So now that we have created our network, we can run our tree containers, but attach it to this network. Okay. So in order to create uh, a container we use this command here docker run and the d for the detach mode or daemon mode here i will be mapping the port the internal port of the container which is uh, 27017 to an external port here i'll be using 13001 but you can use whatever external port you want and of course here will be attached this container to the network called mongo.net as you can see and will be given a name for this container as m1 just to simplify the things but you can name your container whatever you want here i'll be using the image mongo version 4.0.4 but you can use also the latest version if you want and the most important parameters here in this docker run is the REPL set, which is actually the name of our replica set. Here I will be using the name Mongo set, but you can choose whatever you name you want, okay? So with this simple command, we'll be creating our first node or container. Here we go. So it's pretty easy. So the container has been created, as you can see now. So let's create a second one. So here all I have to do is just to change the name to reflect the second one so i will call it m2 and also i have to change the external port because this port is already taken by the container the first container so let's just add here two and here we go and make sure here to spell the s in the REPL set capital because it's very important and also the order of parameters so the last parameter must be REPL set okay here we go our second container has been created and the last one our third container I will name it M3 and the port will be 30003 so here our first container will be our primary node and the two last one will be our secondary nodes okay here we go so let's verify now that we have three containers running using the command docker ps here we go so we can see that actually we have our three containers and of course the names are m1 m2 and m3 as you can see in this display okay so now in order to create our replica set we have to log on to the first one for example m1 so i will log in to our container here using the command exec 
and interactive mode and M1 which is the name of our container and I will be launching the shell, the Mongo shell, okay? Here I forget exact command here Docker, I forget the Docker command Okay now Here we go, so now we are inside our M1 So the first thing to do in order to configure actually the replica set we have to create a variable so let's call it for example config and this variable will be equal to what we open curly braces and we give an id here and the id will be actually the name of our replica set so remember we have created a replica set called mongo set here we go so comma and here we have to add the members 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 of our replica set so we have here three nodes okay so we have to add them here in an array so I will create an array here using square brackets and inside it we have to create three curly braces for each actually knot and separate it by a comma so you have to pay attention to not forget a curly braces and finally actually we have to close the first curly braces okay so here all we have to add actually is that our three nodes so each node is identified by uh, actually an id so for the id zero and also a host so the host here will be actually the name of our container so the first one is m1 and the port which is 27017 okay so this is the notation that you have to respect in order to add all the three nodes so let's add actually the second node here so the id will be in this case one and the host will be of course m2 and we have the usual port okay so let's add the third and the final one here we go so in this case it will be number two and the host will be m3 with the default port for mongodb so i guess now everything is okay let me check so here we have the host we have the id and i guess everything is okay okay here we go so now we have created out this config or this variable we have to initialize our replica set so to initialize it we use the command rc.initiate and between parentheses we give the name of this variable which is config so you can name what this variable whatever you want here I name it the config because it contains the config of our actually replica set initiate here we go here you can see th this message okay which means that we have successfully created our replica set and you see here the prompt has changed to 
Mongo set which is the name of our replica set and secondary which means we are now in secondary actually not so if we execute the command for example show db or show dbs now the prompt has changed to primary because remember i told you that all the reads and writes are actually done in the primary node so here we have three nodes the first one m1 is actually our primary node and the second two are our secondary nodes okay so in order to check that we can use also another command rs status okay so with this function will it give us more details about our replica set okay so here you can see for example M3 which has an ID of 2 is secondary so as you can see here and let's go to ID 1 which is M2 it's also a secondary node and of course M1 will be our primary node so as you can see here okay so now let's try to actually simulate uh, failover okay let's try for example to stop the primary node and see what happens so normally when we stop the container m1 one of the two that exist will be primary and the other one will be secondary so let's see that in action i will here exit from the mongo set let's run our sudo docker just to check docker and let's stop for example n1 to simulate hardware failure or software failure of the node 1 okay so now our m1 or primary node is actually stopped let's try now to log on for example to m2 because m1 is not anymore available so here i'm inside m2 now so you can see now that m2 has became actually a primary so let's execute the command rs status to check the status of our replica set here we go so now m3 which is our third node is secondary and now let's check m2 so m2 was before m1 failure was actually secondary but now as you can see the state here is primary and let's see what happens to m1 so m1 as you can see is not reachable or healthy because we have stopped it to simulate a hardware failure okay and here of course you see an error connecting to m1 caused by code not found address because we have stopped it so now you can see very clearly that actually when m1 has disappeared m2 take advantage and become primary nodes and all the reads and writes now can be reached or performed by m2 so your data are still accessible even in case of hardware or software failure with uh, of m1 okay because you have three nodes so if you have a failure if one of one of them the primary the other two can be act as a backup or standby nodes so that was just a brief introduction to a replica set in mongodb as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye